If you spend any time online or have checked X, even AI communities, you probably heard about Gemini 3 almost on the way. Well, good for you guys and great amazing news, Gemini 3 Pro Preview is actually starting to be available to limited users online. And we have seen people create amazing things with it so far. In today's video, I'm going to break down what we have seen so far, what this means, and how it's going to compare to the upcoming OpenAI GPT 5.1. It seems like both of these parties, OpenAI and Gemini, are at war. They're trying to compete with each other and out-hype each other by dropping few leaks across the internet. So today, let's take a look at some Gemini 3 leaks and see how it compares against OpenAI's leaks. Alright, so the screenshot you just saw was actually from a tweet by Legit API, who's a pretty credible source in the AI community. And the screenshot wasn't from some private Discord or a random anonymous leak account. It was taken directly inside Google Cloud's Vertex AI. And that's important because Vertex is a public facing enterprise platform. Companies use it to deploy real AI models in production. So for something to show up there, it means Google has already moved it out of the pure research phase. This is the stage right before launch. It means the model has an actual endpoint, it's integrated with Google's billing systems, safety systems, logging, all of that behind the scenes things. Google doesn't put experimental ideas in Vertex, they only put models there once they're preparing real world rollout. So yes, the timing can always shift and the final branding or capabilities can change slightly, but the model itself is real. It exists, it's being tested, and it's being integrated. So the reason this is a credible preview and not just hype is because the infrastructure is already live. This isn't a rumor. This is something Google is preparing to release to the public. And the fact that we're seeing it show up now means we're getting very close to the announcement window. Whether that happens next week or next month, that part can move and we don't know what that will look like. But the direction is clear. Gemini 3.0 is past the research phase and is now entering the deployment phase. And that's why everyone in the AI space is paying attention to this. Alright, let's talk about this screenshot that you see on your screen right now. What you're looking at is an official deprecation schedule from Google. Basically, it shows that a bunch of Gemini 2.0 and Gemini 2.5 preview models are being retired at the end of 2025, specifically November 18th. Now, companies don't just randomly retire models. They only do this when they already have the next generation lined up and ready to take over. So this is Google telling developers, hey, start preparing to move your apps off the 2.x models because something new is coming that will replace them. And that something new is probably going to be Gemini 3.0. This is how large scale AI rollouts work behind the scenes. Before a new family of models launches, the company quietly publishes migration timelines and phase out dates for the older ones. It gives developers enough notice to update their products, test compatibility, and avoid breaking anything in production. So what does this mean for us? It means Gemini 3.0 isn't just a rumor. It's not a speculation. Google is already planning for it to become the default model going forward. The infrastructure is moving in that direction, the timelines are matching, and now the older models have sunset dates. The exact launch date for Gemini 3.0 could still shift, but the strategy is already in motion. This is Google preparing the ecosystem to transition to the next generation. Some users have gotten the opportunity to play around with the preview model, and from their experience, it's pretty good. Let's take a look at this planet visualization model that somebody created, and it only took them two minutes. All right, so this is the actual project and you can see it was created using that Gemini 3.0 preview leak. So let's see what it is. So the purpose of this code is to create a Earth-like planet simulation. We have more of the code here. I won't go through that, but you can see this was created once again only in two minutes and I have the ability to interact with this globe, move it around. It spins by itself, but I can look at specific parts of it. And you know, this is pretty sick. I also have the ability to mess around with the terrain. So I'm changing the sea level at the moment, messing around with that. Pretty cool. I guess the frequency of continents, not 100% sure what that one does. The height of the mountains, roughness of the terrain, which is pretty sick. I can cover the whole planet in ice or not. And then I also have the ability to mess around with the specific colors of the parts of the planet, which I think is cool. This optionality that it was able to add. And then the atmosphere density, color, 
And this is only through the preview model. Just imagine what the functionalities will be when the actual model is out. So crazy and exciting times ahead for sure. And it's not just Google making moves right now. On the OpenAI side, there's also been a pretty interesting leak. On November 6th, a tweet by Listen Al Gahib found references to something called GPT 5.1 thinking, and it was buried inside the JavaScript code that powers ChatGPT's web app. And this wasn't a screenshot or a rumor. This was actually inside real code being served from OpenAI's own content delivery network. So what does that mean? When something shows up in the production code base, it usually means that the model is already going through internal testing and integration. OpenAI doesn't add placeholders for fun. They add endpoints when they're preparing for the pipeline for rollout. Now, the interesting part is the name thinking. We've already seen models like DeepSeek and Google's Flash thinking variants that focus on, you know, deliberate reasoning. So this kind of also suggests that GPT 5.1 isn't just a small upgrade. It's likely OpenAI pushing deeper into long form reasoning, planning and multi step problem solving, which is the direction the whole industry is moving nowadays. Also, this leak comes just a few months after the official GPT 5 launch back in August 2025. So this kind of lines up with OpenAI's usual pattern. They release a base model, then refine it, then release an improved point one version that strengthens, you know, it could be reasoning, accuracy, reliability, whatever the case is. And the timing is also very telling. OpenAI improving GPT-5 right as Google prepares Gemini 3 basically confirms that both companies are gearing up for another big capability jump especially around context windows and agent type workflows, which are huge nowadays. So just like with Gemini 3.0 preview, these aren't rumors anymore. These are infrastructure signals. When the code changes, when the migration schedules get published, that's when you know the next wave is already moving. And if you're interested in learning more about OpenAI's GPT 5.1 early tests and leaks, especially on the new models that we saw on Design Arena, check out this video on our main channel for more detail. So yeah, when you look at everything happening right now, we're clearly stepping into the next chapter of AI. And this time, the shift isn't just about making the models larger. It's about making them better at thinking things through and designing things more aesthetically. Models that follow instructions more accurately, handle longer contacts, and stay consistent even when you're trying to work through something step by step. That's the direction both Google and OpenAI are pushing towards right now. Google preparing Gemini 3.0 and Vertex, OpenAI quietly wiring GPT 5.1 into the back end. None of that happens by accident. These are the kinds of groundwork changes we see right before a major release cycle. And personally, I'm excited for this part. This is where AI starts becoming more dependable, more stable, and honestly, more usable in everyday work and projects. And we're watching that shift in real time. I'll keep tracking everything as it unfolds. So if you want updates on Gemini 3.0, GPT 5.1, and whatever comes next, just stick around. Drop a like if this helped, subscribe if you want to stay ahead of what's coming because the next few months are going to be very interesting.